friends, and welcome to Drawing Furry Friends of the Saints. In this episode, we will be drawing the white pigeon who was friends with St. John Maximovich, Archbishop of Shanghai and San Francisco. The two friends first met when St. John came home to find a pigeon sitting outside of his window with a hurt wing. He opened the window, let the bird inside, bandaged his wing, and fed him. From that day on, the bird stayed close to the saint, living on his window ledge and having conversations with him at his table. Now, before we begin our drawing, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, a black or dark colored marker, and whatever else you would like to color and finish your drawing. If at any point in the video you need to catch up, don't be afraid to pause and then start again when you are ready. Let's begin with the pigeon's head. You will want to start a little closer to the left side of your paper to make room for the rest of the bird's body. Start by drawing a small circle for the bird's head. Next, let's draw a larger oval shape for his body. Add a diagonal line from the right side of the head to connect with the top left side of the body, and then add a second diagonal line connecting the bottom of the head circle to the body. You've just drawn his neck. Next, let's add his wing. From the middle of the pigeon's body, draw a long curved line like a smile. Make sure that line stretches out longer than the body. Then draw one more line connecting the body to the end of the line you just drew. A little ways down from the tip of the wing you just drew, draw a line out and then back again to connect with the bottom of the body, making his tail. While we're down here, let's add a small shape where his leg will be connected. Beginning about halfway across his belly, draw a small V shape like this. Now, before this bird can walk, let's give him a face. Moving to the left side of the head, draw a diagonal line with a small curve at the end. Then draw a straight line back to connect to the head. Go back to the tip of the beak and add one more slightly curved line to draw the bottom of his beak. Now, to make the beak look more like it is part of the bird's head, draw a slightly curved line into the circle just a little ways, and then draw a diagonal line connecting it back to the bottom of the beak. Let's make that middle beak line just a little longer to finish his mouth. Moving over just a little to the right of the beak you just drew, draw a short straight line and a small curved line to make his happy little eye. Time for this bird to walk. Moving back to that V shape you drew at the bottom of the bird's body, let's draw two short lines with a longer diagonal line attached to the line on the left, like this. From the end of that longer line, let's draw a little point for his nail and then a straight line to finish his first toe. Let's add his second toe by drawing a shorter diagonal line heading in the opposite direction and another line going that same direction a little ways above it, connecting the toe to his leg. Add another point at the end for his nail. Moving back up to the top of his foot, let's add one more diagonal line across and loop it around to make his third toe. Now, since his feet aren't blocked by his body, his second foot will be seen while he's standing. So, let's move a little over to the left of the first foot you drew and draw two more short lines down. Just like we did with the first foot, draw a diagonal line, add a point for the nail, and loop it back around to make his first toe. Drawing a diagonal line heading in the opposite direction, add another line for the top of that toe, and finish it with a pointy nail at the end. Finally, Moving back up to the top of that foot, let's add one more toe, just like that. Okay, now that the bird is drawn, we need to erase the lines we don't need. I've made those lines red to make it easier to see. You'll want to pause the video here until you are finished erasing all of these lines. Great work. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, this pigeon had an injured wing when he first met St. John. 
So if you'd like to draw his bandage, you can do so by adding a line beginning at the bottom of his neck and curving around to touch the top of his wing. Then add one more straight line a little ways down and across until it touches the curved line where his wing begins. You can finish your drawing using whatever art supplies you'd like to color in your pigeon or even add a background if you'd like. And just like that, you've drawn the pigeon who was friends with St. John Maximovich. Thanks for drawing with me today. I hope you're inspired to continue drawing furry friends of the saints. May the Lord bless you and keep you always.